Ninja versus parents. Ninja has been saying that it's not his responsibility to teach his viewers about social issues. He's been thrown under the bus because of some Black Lives Matter issues and other political statements that he's made. Ninja is saying that it should be up to the parents to teach their children about these issues and should not be down to the creator who they watch. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at both sides of the argument and form our own opinion to see who it should be down to, Ninja or the parents. Thank you so much for 13 and a half thousand subscribers. I think we can get to 14k by the end of tomorrow. So if you are part of the 90% who aren't subscribed, make sure you do and be there when we celebrate this amazing milestone. So Ninja has been calling for parents to take an active role in fighting online toxicity and he explained why it is so important, especially in a world that is using the internet more and more every day. Ninja knows better than most the highs and lows of online stardom, having risen to such a height through Twitch's most viewed personalities and then turning to Mixer where his views drop drastically. However, unsurprisingly, it incited a wave of criticism against the gaming star who was already well aware of the behavior of young players during online matches. The online troll has become a widespread stereotype. Ninja believes the parents can help stop the state of online toxicity. During an interview, Ninja spoke with the New York Times. He stated that the parents of young gamers can play a huge role in changing the environment of the internet culture for the better. He had to say, people are behind the screen. They say that they want and can get away with it. You have to completely be anonymous. It sucks that there are kids who can say racist things and be incredibly aggressive and threatening to women online and have zero repercussions. It all comes down to the parenting. He continued, you want to know about your kids? Listen to them playing video games when they think you aren't. Ninja went on to discuss racism. Nothing that all too common occurrence of racial slurs being slung in an online game. Something that can get even Twitch streamers banned, if said during their broadcast. Ninja had this to say, is it my job to have this conversation with the kid? No, because the first thing that's going on in my head is this kid is doing this on purpose to troll me. If someone says a racial slur on someone else's stream, it could potentially get that streamer banned. It's awful, but that's not the first thing that I think of. Ninja had to say, responded to criticism on Twitter, Ninja argued, it's not my job to sit down and make a video of all my audiences to do a lesson on civil rights and how not to be a racist. I show that I'm a good person through my actions and how I treat people and those around me every single day. Jessica, who is Ninja's wife, took to Twitter to also reply to one of the replies by Texa. If any of these people tweeting actually watch Ninja's stream, they'd know how many times he's spoken out about issues of racism, white privilege, and having zero tolerance for racism in his games or channel. He does his part. He just isn't holding a seminar on the topic. Ninja's conversation on toxicity isn't out of the blue. Studies report that online harassment and cyberbullying has risen 70% amid the ongoing health crisis. Whilst it's impossible to monitor everything your child does online, Ninja's interview does raise an interesting topic of conversation as the world turns to the internet, while traveling and gatherings are out of the question. So this is an extremely interesting point. Ninja definitely should not be held responsible for these people's actions. We all have grown up in the internet culture. We know that when someone is racist or being abusive online, we usually categorize that as them being a troll. However, there is deeper issues at play here. Is it the parents' fault? I would beg to differ. Children know what is right and what is wrong, and all a parent can do is guide them in those directions. However, when someone is online and they have the anonymity about them, they feel that they can get away with saying these hateful things. Humans love to get away with stuff and online is the perfect platform to do so. However, it is not up to the content creator who is forming a simple entertainment purpose for us to give us the morals. We know what is right. We know what is wrong. All they can do is follow by those rules and teach us that it is a bad thing to do. However, it, the biggest factor that comes into all of this is free will. And I think as human beings, we choose whether to say nasty things or do positive actions. I recommend that the next time you say something negative online, you really think about the actions that you're doing and the actions that you're taking because I think the world would be a far better place if we all did something nicer every day than something negative. Let me know your opinions down in the comments section. Thank you so much for the support recently. It really does mean the world and I will see you in tomorrow's video. We've got a really special one regarding Dream. Anyway, that's been Bitter. Much love everyone and peace.